Mountain of Months of Music, I want to talk about how you can play a song called Sweet Little Something by Jason Aldean. And we ended up capoing this on second fret to kind of match the recording. We'll walk through a couple things in root position. And there are these cool little lead licks if you wanted to kind of follow some of those notes. You could go third fret on the B string to fifth fret on the B string. And then we kind of go back to three, and then five, and then back to three. So we have three, five, three, five, three. Kind of going D, E, D, E, D. And then from there, then we'd be going down to first fret on the B string. Kind of doing that same idea from the first fret on the B to third fret on the B. So kind of one, three, one, three, one. Or a C, D, C, D, C. And then from there, then we go to the open B. And kind of work the open B to first fret on the B string. And then we kind of go back to the open B. And then two on the G. Open G. And then we go back to the open B. Open, and then first fret on the B. Open B. And then we go open G to second fret on the G. So we want to kind of follow some of those notes. We're going three, five, three, five. It would back up those, we kind of start on an A minor chord. I normally do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the G second fret. And if you strum all those together, all the sad sounds of A minor. Now you may also dig on lifting off the first finger, and add an A sus 2, or adding in the pinky on the B third for an A suspended, and saying some stuff around that chord. Or you can lift off the third finger of the A minor, make it an A minor 7. Or you can add in the pinky on the high E third for an A minor 7. Or you may even dig on an A7 so by doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. It sounds more unresolved and that can make some of the voicings a little bit easier to get to. And then from the A minor we can go into a C major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, third finger on the A string third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and sounds really happy. And you may also dig on lifting off the first finger making C major 7, or you can add in the pinky on the B string 3rd for C major 9, kind of say some stuff around the C major. Or another way to play C major 9, we'll be doing 1st finger on the D 2nd, 2nd finger on the A 3rd, 3rd finger on the B 3rd, pinky on the high 3rd. Now we only have to move a couple fingers from the A minor or A 7 sus to the C major 9. And then from the C we'd be going to a G major. We normally do this 1st finger on the A 2nd. Second finger on the Louis third, third finger on the high third. All oh, the beautiful sounds in G major. Now you may also dig on putting third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third. Maybe that's slightly more powerful. And then from the G, we'd be going to a D major. We normally do this first finger on the G second fret, second finger on the high E second, third finger on the B third. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, all oh, the beautiful sounds of D major. Now around D's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the second finger, make that a D sus two, or you get add in the pinky on the high E third for the suspended chord. You kind of say some stuff around that. And there are definitely some points in the tune where you'll hear the low E on the second fret F sharp note come out of that chord. So you can even take your thumb and kind of cover that low E second fret, make that a D slash F sharp or D with an F sharp in the bass. Or you may even dig on using a D sus slash F sharp by doing first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second. Third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of working that for your D third. And through the tune, actually, there's a couple different strummings you may want to play around with. You could do kind of a down idea, actually, you know, there's definitely spots in the tune where you may want to kind of gravitate to kind of a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down count on each of the chords. And I'm adding a little bit of right hand reading to that, made that a little bit sneaky. So kind of taking the flat of my right hand, laying it down on top of the saddle, A minor C. Strum patterns for a full four like this is down, down, up, up, down. So we took the A minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So we tried that through that intro progression. You have A minor, C, G, Ding, Ding, A minor.
might be a down up, down up, up, down up. A minor. taking that idea and kind of bearing it through through the tune, actually through our verse and our chorus. Now the weird thing is to play along with, with Jason Aldean, instead of starting on an A minor chord, he's starting on a B minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and you put the capo on 2nd fret, and now you're A minor, so we have B minor chord, and your C is really a D major, and your G is really an A major chord, and your D is really a D major chord. But you may want to kick it off with kind of the, that intro, really kind of that three, five, three, five, three, one, three, one, three, one, oh, one, oh, one, oh, two, oh, oh, one, oh, oh, two. Kind of matching that lick might be kind of cool. Or you could just kind of back it up with the chords, kind of A minor. Sometimes on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw in a bass for the chord. So on the A minor, you have the A for the bass. On the C, you have the A for the bass. On the G, you have low E for the bass. Now on the D, you have the D for the bass. Unless you're doing the D slash F sharp, you have low E for the bass. So we try that intro with a bass down, up, up, down, up. And the A minor. to our second verse chorus. of how you could strum through Sweet Little Something by Jason Aldean. So, good luck.